we are going to start with our uh, Pledge of Allegiance now. And I'm going to call Sophia Peterson and Skylar Ratke over here. And they're going to lead the way for us. So if we could, go ahead and stand. <clears throat> to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
the game here. It totally made this place so much fun, and you never miss an opportunity to recognize a child's success. And so thank you for that. Um, I executive boards with four different principals, and you are the GOAT. <laughs> so I'm actually here to present an award from the PTA. It's a scholarship for a graduating senior for a former cowboy. So um, we're, the award is called the Alex Trejo Scholarship. It's a $650 scholarship to help them with their higher education. And uh, Alex Trejo was, Trejo was a, a custodian here for 25 years before he passed and was just beloved here. So um, we're lucky that his daughter still is the one who selects the winner of this scholarship. So uh, I would like to call her up, but I would like to say I'm very excited about this year's winner because she's very special to me too. So uh, Erica Kramer, could you please come up? father's memory alive. He adored this campus, the faculty, the staff, and the students. He has such pride in what he did here at Carpenter. He had a very strong work ethic, and I can feel his presence every time that I'm here. I truly believe that his spirit does live on. Each year, I am blessed to be given the honor of choosing a recipient for my father's scholarship, a high school senior who attended Carpenter. When making my selection, I choose someone who represents what my father meant to so many. Someone who will also take pride in what they are doing and strive to always be the best reflection of themselves. The high school senior I have chosen reflects on her years at Carpenter Middle School with great admiration. She states that there was always something very special about being in such a tight-knit middle school community. During her eighth grade year, she was selected as vice president of the student council. This recipient states that having this role helped her to feel special and pushed her to work harder. But more importantly, it helped her to believe in herself. Her friendships made at Carpenter is what she holds very dear to her time here. She also, um, well, Cassie Barron from uh, the Plano Senior High Math Department states that our recipient, and I'm quoting, is more than the ideal student, which was and still is reflected through her grades in my class and her positive attitude. Ms. Barron goes on to say, the academics at Plano Senior High School are most challenging, and she is involved with both in and out of school activities while maintaining her academic achievement. In school, she is a writer for the newspaper, a member of our student council. In her free time, she is involved in church, works part-time jobs, and she has traveled throughout the United States and Canada, participating in mission work, and singing with her church choir every year since the sixth grade. This year's recipient is going to be attending the University of Kansas, and she's going to be majoring in social work. I know she has a very bright future ahead of her, and I know that my dad is smiling right now. Please help me to congratulate this year's recipient, Elizabeth Lily Bowles. Alexa Guzman, 
Award for Spanish Science and Yearbook. Nicholas Hardin, Award for Spanish, Science, and Technology. <laughs> the Perry Heron, Award for Art. Emily Hoffines, Award in Spanish, English, Science, and History. <laughs> Liam Honeycutt, Award for Math. Jenna Jeffries, and you are going to cross through the arches. Ragsdale will be on the carpenter side uh, to shake your hand. You will get a thing from the teachers. And then on this side, Ms. Clark will be here to shake your hand, welcoming you to Clark High School. Okay? So. Without a last dance from Tobin.